right, it is gym time, and um, I'm gonna do some cardio today. So I've been only doing cardio three times a week for 30 minute sessions. So I'm gonna knock out some cardio before I lift, and then we are hitting back and biceps. So I'm excited to lift, and it's gonna be good. done for the day done with clinic very good day um and now it's time to go lift so i think maybe we're doing chest today not usually on this day but why the heck not <laughs> so yeah no cardio just purely lifting lifting heavy so yeah all you have to do is stay for two reps. So I think, so five reps, oh my, oh, five sets, two reps. Uh, kind of feeling kind of heavy, but we're good. Got it all sets done. So now moving on to probably a lot of volume bodybuilding stuff, like I usually do. So a few more chest movements, delts, and uh, triceps. And then we're Make it on your own, but we don't have to grow up, we can stay forever young. Living on my sofa, drinking rum and cola underneath the rising sun. All right. It is burger night. Um, making our own burgers. Courtesy of him. We are using 96 for lean ground beef. Yours is probably like a pound, right? And mine is probably about half a pound. So, for the patties, like so. We didn't even season these. Do you want to? I'll season them once put on the pan. Oh yeah. And then I'm making a broccoli. He's having curly fries. Oh yeah, look at those. And I'm gonna have green beans too. So it's gonna be very good. Is it still going? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I was having a conversation with someone and it just kind of made me start to think and they're questioning why I got a certain protein powder that I did and um, whatever, well that's what sparked the conversation, but my take on protein powder, honestly, is I simply use protein powder to cook with or have like high volume like smoothies with and that's it and I think that a common misconception is that you need protein powder to a lose weight which it's like no <laughs> but that's another tangent um or two you have to have it immediately after you work out to make any sort of gains to build any type of muscle which again that is not true and I'm not saying that by taking protein powder post-workout that you're doing 
you're doing it wrong like no there's nothing wrong with that but it's not I'm saying that it's not the only way that you're ever gonna build any type of muscle that's just not true um, I mean <laughs> that is what food is for and that's why I said I'm like I eat food post-workout because it's more satisfying to me than chugging a protein shake and I don't it to me it doesn't matter that like protein shakes digest faster what like to me it's like it, that that has such a minimal effect that I'm not even worried about it so I think what is important is to if you enjoy eating food eat food like if it's painful for you to chug protein shakes don't do it because I promise you that you can make just as, as big of gains on eating food as you can chugging protein shakes so I mean honestly I've made more progress or put on more muscle in this past year than I ever have by doing what I'm doing by simply just eating food and fueling my body the way I should so just worry about getting enough calories in and uh, the right calories in as in like um, splitting up your macros in a way that makes sense with enough carbs protein fats that kind of deal um, again another tangent but yeah it just it's frustrating to me when people like question what I'm doing and I, I don't care if people question what I do but for when people like I can tell in the back of their mind they're like you don't know what you're talking about you're stupid you have to have protein shakes okay well you can keep on chugging your protein shakes and you know talk to me in five years and I'll see where you're at but again nothing wrong with having protein shakes post-workout but it is not the only way to make gains I promise you that